this is Kelly from Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk um, Today I'm bringing you something a little bit different So I've been watching Create and Craft and kind of decided to purchase one of their screen sensations I did get it at a really good deal I picked it up for 40 quid and it's normally over £100 so I kind of thought to try it out as a as a craft it you know it was a good price for, for me price point for me to try it out never done it before haven't even got it out of the box so I thought I'd unbox it with you and give it a go so I got some fixing tape with it I've got a black um, ink I purchased um, that didn't come with it so the ink I had to purchase separately the tape came with it and I had to order my screen separately there are several, several websites, there's one website that sells the screens um, on sale, some of them, and they're like half the price of Create and Craft. So, you know, if you've got a budget, look around because you might be able to find them somewhere else. We're going to use this one today. So, I've watched how they do it. I've not tried it yet, but it's still in the packet. Let's see what I get in my box so in my box that's a mixing pot don't really need that today um, I've got some instructions should be fairly easy I've never done screen printing before and I've always wanted to give it a go so this was for me the ideal opportunity to got a large squeegee which is a hard plastic I thought it was more like a rubbery plastic oh and a small one got some wooden um, like popsicle sticks that's to kind of get the, the ink out and stuff but I might just use my palette now so this is Sorry about all the noisy plastic. So this is the unit and it should just oh, I'll go the wrong way around. Oh. This bit slides out, which you attach your screen to, which we'll do in just a second. And it's just like on a hinge system so it's a plastic frame it seems fairly durable hopefully it will last well and shall we see if we can actually attach this to the what we're going to start well what we're going to print on to so i've got some of these uh just shopping bags from um Hobbycraft for a pound, so I've got a couple of those and we'll see how well this turns out. First of all, let's get this out of here. I am going to need to put something in the bag because it... Uh, it's like a, a a cheap fabric you can see through it so because of the weaves not really tight the ink will go through so let me grab so in snap up paper they get these you tend to get these like 12 by 12 card pieces so i'm going to pop one of those in for now see if that works that does the job yeah it should do I just don't want it obviously bleeding onto the other side. So that's that. So we need to attach this back to front to us. So when we turn it over, it will screen print the right way.
They make it look so easy on telly, don't they? I suppose they've got a lot of practice. So I'm going to make sure that I get rid of that baggy bit. So I'm putting a piece of tape. All the way around and overlapping it. Um, they say this tape's got a bit of elasticity, I don't think. So, like, I've got a baggy bit here. I can apparently peel this up. And pull it tight. Oh, yeah, that works. I'll do it all of this. I'm just giving a good pull to the side. Last one, and hopefully, it is that easy. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I've got no baggy bits. So, let's bring in that unit again. So, sorry about the camera angle. I slip it in like that into the unit. Can you see? I don't know if I can make you any higher. That into the unit so we know it's that way and um, we've got the, all the baggy bits so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it around the other way which you can do which is good I think you can yeah, you can do there we go So let's try and get this lined up. There's a line here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop. I don't know if I should use this tape or not. I'm going to pop a bit of tape on this bottom line to stop that from moving. And then we're all, we look all good. Okay, moment of truth. Or something like that. Thick black. Use this one. I should probably have got some. So I'm just popping on this black ink. I think I've got enough on you use like next to nothing right so this should be idiot proof <laughs> right you ready 45 degree angle pull towards me is there any bits we've missed I think we're good. Right. Okay. So it has come out. It's not gone through, but it's not very dark. Now, they said to not go over it again, but I'm going to try. No, I bet not. Let's put a new one in and I'm going to put a bit more ink on and we'll see how that one goes.
hasn't come through to the card stock in the bag, which I was very surprised about, to be honest. Right, back down again. Can you see? I'll put you at this kind of angle. So, just knock it off apparently. I'm going to get a bit more. I'm going to apply a little bit more pressure this time. Get that going for a better. I think I just applied a bit more pressure. Just laying these around my front room. And apparently, if you uh, once the ink's dried, well, if you iron it at the hottest temperature the fabric can take. Um, it will stay in place so it is washable which is kind of cool right a little bit more pressure this time knock it down You ready? See, it says we shouldn't get too messy. Oh, missed a bit there. But this is me, I managed to get quite messy. Ah, oh, that would have been perfect if it wasn't for that bit. And it has moved very slightly. Yeah, that's not too bad, although I did smudge it there. Oh, I want to make more. Look at that. And this time it's come through. So more pressure. Wow, I'm actually quite impressed. Which is how well that's actually come out. Um, I did buy some fabric paints, um, so I could like colour in bits because I don't have many of the inks, and the inks are quite expensive. So I got some pots of oh, them. So I'm liking those. So, this has been something a little bit different. I've just tried out the screen sensation. Actually, it is quite easy. What I'm going to go do now is I'm going to pack up um, and wash and then let you know how messy it was to tidy up. So I have washed and dried everything um, and I just use warm soapy water um, and it's come fine. Make sure that you don't scrunch these up, um, they, they tell you obviously not to do that. Um, I'm going to leave mine out to air dry for a little bit longer, otherwise I'll put that away. The rest of this can go away, but it all cleaned up very well. Minimal mess, which is um, for me quite good. 
I am a messy crafter. I'm going to leave this in here and I can use that again. Otherwise, I'm just going to pack it all up. And um, thank you for joining me. The bag that came out the best, the one which I've done the, the, the best pressure, is nearly dried. Bits of it have dried. That bit hasn't quite. Um, and this was my first attempt, so I know I need to go in with a bit more pressure, be less tentative. I was a little tentative with that one. Um, but otherwise, I actually, that was really good fun. So uh, I will be purchasing more screens, I'm sure, so I can make some other bits and bobs. But that was, oh, apologies. That was Kelly, um, that was me, Kelly, from Crafty Kelly's, trying out the screen sensation. And actually, I'll give it a thumbs up. It was really easy to use. Um, and I will do it again. So thanks very much for joining me and catch you again next time. If you want to know anything about me and what I do, you can find me at www.craftykelly.co.uk. I do card tutorials um, and 3D tutorials as well. So anyway, thanks very much. Bye now.